I think the UN declaration uh, is a very fine instrument, and we can we can we can use it and uh, adapt it to the to to the, the days that we have and to the challenge that we we face nowadays. Uh, Concerning mechanisms, I think we in the internet governance environment, uh, in, in uh, specifically, but in the internet in general, uh, as an environment, we do work with a very interesting model, which is multi, which is the multi-stakeholder model. Now, the model has been under, I wouldn't say attack, because that would be kind of a, a strong word, but under strong criticism, which is fair. The idea is we, we have to produce more concrete outputs and these outputs cannot be produced unless we have uh, engagement. These engagement costs money and financial resources. This is a very fair criticism. I do believe that we have to start trying to find ways to produce more concrete outputs. And I do agree with any criticism that has the objective of forwarding the multi-stakeholder model, fixing the problems, but not killing it. And I, I do think that some of the criticism, not all of them, the criticism is fair, much of it is directed to improving the model, but some of the criticism is trying to move it to a, to the, a former multilateral model of cooperation that has its applications, that has its strong points, but, has, but that has failed in other things uh, uh, along the, the centuries in which it's, it's, it's been in place. Now, the multi-stakeholder multi model is the only one that gives civil society a voice. Is it the adequate amount of voice? Maybe not yet. Are the right voice, voices there in place for each other problem? Probably not. But I think it's too early for us to lose the patience over the multi-stakeholder model, where other models where civil society were not, was not heard are there for a long time, and we haven't, losing, or haven't lost our patience with that.